Colorado will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And they make the stop at the 18-yard line. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Second and 14. Ball on the 18. Flat. There's a fumble. Scoops up the loose ball. Heading for the corner. To the 20. Touchdown, Buffaloes. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. You know, you wonder about the mindset and the psyche of this football team. After the turnover on the last possession, it's going to be interesting to see what they're really made out of here. This is an important possession for this offense. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. From their own 37-yard line, first down. He tackles him for a loss. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. About four yards away here on third down. Go four. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's tackled at around the 50. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He gets to about the 34-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. From the 22-yard line, first down. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Call the loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. This is the ninth play of this drive. innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Tenth play of the drive. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That brings up second and goal. 
That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the six. Here's an opening. Touchdown, Knights. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. And they'll probably try to throw here as they line up on third down and 14. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. at the 48-yard line. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Up the middle for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. Opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 39. They come out in a five wide Go. set. First down, Graham. Tackle made at about the 49. That's a deep 10 He's hit and taken down. Call it a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Mike 41. We've got to wedge that out. Take off. Down, 82. So at the end of one quarter, we get a tie game at 7-7. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Four down, four down. 41's coming. 41's a mic. Check, check. Alert, Predator, Predator. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. 
Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Good tackle there in space. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. First and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. Has some room. They'll bring him down at the eight yard line. Game of 17. That makes it first and goal. Four down, four down. Mike 41. You gotta wedge that, huh? At 288. Rose to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 21-yard line. Nice run there. That'll bring up third and eight. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. And that was a really well played series by the defense. That'll bring up fourth and five. got stood up right there. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Colorado up seven points. He airs it out. And he's got it. And he scores. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick two-play, 65-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Try the right side. Runs outside for a nice game. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tackle around the 39 yard line. Scoops it up, and down he goes. At about 
the 43-yard line. Anytime a running back loses the football, it puts a little bit more caution in his step. You'll see them covering the ball with two hands, and it sometimes can slow him down. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled to the 38-yard line. Call it a gain of five yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Caught with room to work, and they make the stop at the 26-yard line. Number 37 with the tackle with the 26-yard line. First down. Three down, three down. Mike 41, Mike 41. Fires out quick, it's picked off. And there isn't anyone who's gonna catch this cornerback. Ball is loose, fumble. The ball just kept scooting all over the place on the sideline, and it finally skipped out of bounds before anybody could claim it. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Number nine was the intended receiver on the play. From their own 49-yard line, second down. Defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. But somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. Quick strike, and he drops it. Well, the defense stood tall there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Booming kick. A little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The Buffaloes' offense normally predicated with the ground game, but today it's a passing game that's working it's for been, them. It's been a big surprise, Brad. I mean, we all expected to see this star running back have a big game, but it's been nice to see the versatility of this offense and see this passing game step up. At the 16-yard line. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 16. On the throw, incomplete pass. That brings up third and 14. The Knights will use their first time out of the hat. Now this offense has to find a way to stay out of these third and long situations. It's nearly impossible to convert. They're coming after this punter. He really got a hold of that one. He got his hard. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. So they're just about set to get the game going again. give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Green nine, green nine. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He 
He's taken down around the 48-yard line. Good job to identify the weakness in this defense. Any good offense will exploit those holes over and over again. He is drilled at the 40. Kill, kill. That's a loss of two. That'll make it second and long. Steps up. He's at midfield. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. Quick throw, almost intercepted. And I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Throws to the back quickly off his hands. Incomplete. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Kicks away. And he got it. So at the end of the half, the Buffaloes lead 21-10. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Show. Reese Davis and David Pollock here. And David, what a first half. Man, I thought Nestler and Herb Street were going to fly out of the booth calling this game in the first half. We were pretty jacked up here in the studio, too. Uh, what do we get? We get so many games that we look at and we go, man, this is a dog game. This was a great game. This is something that we like to see. We like to see competitive games. you got a very competitive first half. Looking forward to the second half of who can correct some mistakes, play a little bit better, play at a higher level, and go out there and win the ball game. Boy, the first half set the bar pretty high. We'll see if they can clear that bar with some great second half action. The Knights found the end zone just once. They're hoping to get that offense going in the second half. Time to tee it up. Kickoff coming. Brad and Kirk on the call. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. That'll bring up second and three. Here we go. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. The halfback picks up a yard. From their own 36-yard line, first down. Over the middle, got his tight end. Tackle made at the 46. Gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. 41's coming, 41's the mic. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They 
They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Play action here. He's going to scramble. He wants it all. Leaps. Picked off. And he's level at the 19-yard line. From their own 19-yard line, it's first down. Fakes to the back. Dumps it complete the tight end over the middle. They get four yards on that pass play. Tight end does a good job here of selling his block and then getting out on his route and making a nice catch for a good game. It's second down, five to go. Ball on their own 23. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He goes out of bounds at the 26. He laterals. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. Fourth down. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. Got the corner. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. And he hits him hard at the 35. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he tackles him hard at the 45. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Mike 41, Mike 41. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. That's a great tackle at the 47. Gain of eight yards. First From the 47-yard line. First down. And he shoved out of bounds around the 47-yard line. Not a lot on that one. Usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end, so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. First down. From the 36 yard line. First down. 46 is right there. Check him, check him. 41. 29. Throw some Throw some They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. That makes it 7 He gets to about the 31-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Man, man, man. 41's coming. 41's the mic. 
He's at the 20, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Finds a man again. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebacker. That's what you like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. They'll work the left side. Tackled for a loss. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Played three, and this is not what the experts predicted. Colorado's in front by 11. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Four down, four down. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Go! End zone! Receiver touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Colorado is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Buffaloes have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. <laughs> Throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. Number eight, the intended receiver on the play. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. It's our time. It's our time. And two. Throws complete. He's got room to work. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. the 39 yard line second and eight coming up here ball on their own 39 got it and he goes down quickly i think he could have taken a risk down the field but he played it safe instead and that's one of the keys to winning ball games down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled at about the 41. But this is just outstanding execution by the quarterback and the wide receiver. I mean, you look at that throw and you think, oh my gosh, what are you doing? You're throwing that into coverage. But only he knows the confidence that he has in his wide receiver to have the ability to come down with the football for that first down. That's good time there between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That'll bring up second, second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Red two. Looks middle, got his back, and he's immediately tackled. receiver and he can't make the grab Number 81 was the intended receiver. from the 31 yard line second down pressure coming makes the grab and steps out right away
scrambling around. He's going to take off. Well, that's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at their hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want it. Just under three to go in regulation. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Touchdown, UCF! of the short pass for the touchdown. Boy, what a great story. They've talked about the commitment that this guy has made in practice to make himself a more complete player. He has spent many extra hours catching ball after ball. And right there, it paid off. And they're looking to get two points here. And they won't get the two. An 11-play, 76-yard drive, but the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. The score now, 28-16. Kick out of bounds. Kicking, Kicking team. team. So the offense will take over with pretty good field position. The onside Still kick just ahead. wasn't successful there. The kicker really didn't give his guys a chance to make a play. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackle around the 28-yard line. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. the middle. Well, that's a great job by this offense. The defense knew that the run was coming, and they still could not slow them down. Pick up a first down and allows them to continue to work this clock. Makes it out to about the 10. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. They'll run it. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Central Florida will take their last time out. From the six yard line, second down. Just under two minutes in the game. And they make the stop at the five. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up, and he got it. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. Not looking so good for the offense. At this point, all they can do is put the ball in the air and hope. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Picked off, and that'll seal it up. And down he goes at the 31. Well, that interception's gonna seal the fate in this one.
And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 31-16, Buffalo. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.